Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan, where it's nice and cold out. Today's show is brought to you by Mosey Pro. Be a pro with Mosey. This is the Android Tech Show episode number 65. This week we are reviewing the Motorola Droid Zyborg 8.2 inch tablet. This is pretty awesome. Check it out. is the Android Tech Show. Oh, Every yeah. week we bring you the latest news in Android-based technology. To join the conversation and watch live, visit theandroidtechshow.com. Now, let's start the show. All yes. right, All right, folks, this is Lane. And this is Dave. And this is 65 episodes into what we call the Android Tech Show. It's a little party we like to call the Android Tech Show. It's wild. And insane, and like, dude, you are in for a crazy ride. Yes, this week uh, we're going to be giving you a review of the Motorola Droid Zyboard, also known as the Zoom 2 Media Edition to uh, you folks that are not in America. So, pretty like nice. A cyborg. Yeah. It, what is a Zyboard? Yeah, Zyboard. Z Y B O A R D. It's weird. I don't know. It's like I don't the, know where they came up with the name. The Zoom. And something else had a baby. But it is a droid. It does use the droid branding. And I don't think hmm. they've had a droid tablet before. Oh. So somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But All right. Uh, let's go over. It's like a, some... if a droid and a Zoom had a baby and made that sound. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, if you've seen the, the Razer, it has these yeah. curved edges. So it does kind of look like a Razer tablet. I'm surprised they didn't call it that. Because it's thinner and lighter than the uh, Motorola Zoom. It f- is crazy freaking thin. Yeah. And light. And I, I thought it was a toy. Yeah. It, it's pretty cool. Though. I thought they shipped you the demo model. No. No. This It's for reals. For reals. Um, but let's let's get to some specs on this. Why don't we? Huh? Mm, I, we could do that. Or we could talk about sponsors. Sponsor. Yep. Which is what we're going to do. For this show. Because, you know got to keep the lights on and we love bringing you the show and if you want these shows uh, if you want to see some of our older shows you might need to back it up because we're going to back it up with mosey pro mosey pro is uh, a great source a great place to a great a great product really I'm just spitballing it here until I look at what I'm supposed to say, which is right here when it comes to running a successful business, there are many things that you have to get right. Like hiring good people, but one of those things that often gets overlooked is the, the protecting your data, protecting your data that powers your business. That is the most important thing that a lot of us in this knowledge-based economy, yeah, <laughs> thrive on. Yeah, it's the lifeblood of your business, and a lot of people don't realize how many devices are actually involved. I mean, we're talking about computers. Mm-hmm. Servers, external hard drives, uh, you know, thumb drives. Forget about it. And uh, even tape backups. I know some places still do that. I know uh, we used to run them still when I worked at the bank. Uh, but they're all vulnerable to failure, uh, mm-hmm. whether it's some interference from another electronic device or, blog. or who knows what. Uh, but in the U.S. alone, there's over 140,000 hard drives that fail every single week. That's a lot. But there's a lot of hard drives out there too, so one day your number could be up. Oof! And you don't want that to happen because in the U.S., 50% of businesses that find themselves without data, like if you don't back it up and you lose that stuff, if you if you're out of data for more than 10 days, there's a 50% chance your business will file for bankruptcy because it's that important. I mean, you need to keep your business going, and this is just one of those ways that you can protect yourself and make sure. That you have what you need when you need it. Yeah, there's no excuse for what size your business is. Mosey has been providing backup services to consumers for a long time. Uh, they're providing an awesome service to businesses now of all sizes, large and small, uh, to back up everything from your email uh, to contacts, and of course, important documents and you know photos and other uh, business-related stuff that you'd have on your network. It's automatic and it works. Yeah. For example, Jeremy, uh, a person that is a, a subscriber to this Mosey Pro, uh, he's a landscape architect. 
And, you know, that's a lot of big files. Like, he makes all of that stuff. Like, that digital stuff is so important to him. And he used to store all this stuff on hard drives. And on external hard drives, he'd take a copy home each night just to make sure in case something happened in the office. You know, your landscape architecture working on a lot of waterfalls. You never know. You know a waterfall might explode. And <laughs> anyway, um, but he'd take a, a copy home. He switched over to Mozy Pro. And, dude, he said it was simple. It simplified everything and was so easy to set up. Yeah, why why buy all the hardware to haul back and forth and spend, you know, how much of your time every day just doing that? Mosey Pro Business backs up uh, everything, and the plans are affordable, and there's no contracts to sign and no hardware to buy, no hardware to lug mm-hmm. around, you know? Yeah, and if your business is not backed up with Mosey Pro, you really have to question, is your business really backed up? Mm-hmm. I know we have to back up, so... Well, well, how do you find it, Lane? You can just call her, uh, the people up and give them this give them this code that we have because not only will it save you some money, but it'll also help support the show. Uh, the code to sign up for Mosey and get 15% off is PODCAST15. That's PODCAST15. That is right. And if you uh, do not use the internet, then you've got other problems. But if you find it easier to contact them, How did you see this? Uh, you, you can give them a call on the phone, and uh, we all know you have Android phones, so there's no excuse there. Uh, 877-669-9776. Once again, 877-669-9776. Or visit the internets, moseypro.com. That's M-O-Z-E-Y pro.com. Podcast 15. Fun times. All right, so let's get into some specs now uh, for this sexy, the sexy tablet that we got going on here. Uh, this is an 8.2 inch screen, pretty cool. Uh, you know, a little bit bigger than a 7 inch tablet, but not as bulky and big as a 10.1 inch tablet. Uh, I'm finding it's it's still a little bit too big for my liking, but I like it a lot more than a 10.1 inch tablet. Uh, good on them. Good idea to go with this. This actually has an IPS display. I know. So I know that you, I thought you'd be pretty excited about that. Man. <laughs> Hot. Uh, with a 1280 by 800 uh, pixel screen so you can watch actual 720p content on this and still have extra pixels to spare. So high cool. def for sure. Uh, they called this the media edition overseas uh, for a few reasons. Uh-huh. Now I'll, I'll kind of point those out now. Yeah. Uh, there's a speaker here on this bottom edge. And there's a speaker here on this bottom edge too, on both sides. You know, so when you're holding it in la- uh, landscape, you get a speaker on each part. Oh. Um, but what about when you hold it in portrait yeah, mode? Yeah, what about that? Uh, what are you gonna do? Well, there's also another speaker up here on what? the top. Uh, this actually switches automatically uh, to stereo, whichever way you're going. Well. So when you play music and you're holding it in portrait mode, you'll hear it coming out of the top. But as soon as you turn it into landscape mode. Uh, it automatically flips on the bottom speakers here and turns off this other speaker on the left on the top. So it's like a smart... It's like a, there's three speakers in that bad boy. Yep, so it's always in stereo. No matter Dang. which way you have it turned, uh, you always have stereo sound, and it works all four ways. Whoa, they thought that out. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and again, that's I think that's the main reason they call this the Media Edition, because it's supposed to have better playing speakers and then this whole stereo tracking thing uh the other reason is it has an ir blaster right here on the top uh kind of old school like a uh like a palm wood you know <laughs> uh, but they're not used for transferring data no beaming with this uh, this comes with a remote app on it what? Uh, that you can actually use to control your uh surround sound home theater to train your uh, tv everything uh you know so in case you're sitting on the couch with your tablet and you lost your remote. You go, oh, well, here we go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Because <laughs> that is the most convenient thing in the world. Though. Oh, exactly, right. <laughs> you know, let's take out my 8.2-inch remote touchscreen. <laughs> Let me just uh, mute this here so I can take this phone call. Oh, geez, what's going on? Look at how big my remote is. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like the uh, novelty remote I got it's my grandpa so... for Christmas one year. <laughs> I know, they, and it worked too, right? Yeah. Yeah, those ones are the best ones. The huge, huge remotes that work. <laughs> 
So uh, let's see. Let's cover some of the ports we got on here. Standard uh, 3.5 millimeter headset jack that you can plug into. Um, but this also has a micro USB charging uh, port on the bottom, which is awesome. Yeah. Because uh, this is the first tablet that I've seen actually charge off a of micro USB instead of some proprietary connection uh, and an HDMI out port. Yeah, it's weird that that's taken so long to get to the tablet. Yeah, and these are the standard distance that you see now on all the Motorola phones. Mm -hmm. So any of the dock connectors that use this uh, configuration to charge and output video, uh, this will fit right into the same dock. Cool. So it also has a little door here that will swing open. <sighs> oh, that's cute. Uh, but this is not an SD card. Uh, this is the 4G card. 4G card? Yeah, the LTE card on there. Wild. You know, because you got to have a SIM card in for oh, 4G right, LTE. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, there's no SD card slot on this uh -oh. at all. Nothing. Um, how the can, back out how do they dare call it a media metal. edition? How do they dare call it a media edition if there's no expandable memory? <laughs> With the rubberized edge. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a cop out, I think. But, you know, I don't miss it that much. I just. Yeah. How big is that one? I just like the idea of having it. How much is uh, in that? I think this is the 16 gig, but they come in 16 and 32 gig flavors. Okay. So uh, you might not miss having the extra SD with all that. Right. Uh, this does have a front-facing camera, 1.3 megapixels for video chatting, and a rear-facing camera at 5 megapixels uh, with a flash. So cool. and it does 720p video. I like it. Uh, this has... The one thing that's kind of... That it takes the zoom influence from is having the wake lock button be on the back mm -hmm. if you remember the zoom it was kind of over here yeah. so that whenever you're holding it your finger kind of reached around and you touched right there reach uh, to unlock yeah, yeah. Uh, well now it's up here closer to the edge yeah. uh which is fine you gotta well, get especially because the edge is so thin on that thing super thin much thinner than the zoom yeah i mean this is much more hand friendly this i mean the zoom was much heavier number one number two the way it rested on your hand, it was just not conducive to human use, you know? Yeah. It's just like a sharp, hard edge, and it just always seemed like it was grinding into your hand one way or another. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing I do have to kind of fault them on, uh, well, first, let me finish out the specs here. Uh, this has a 1.2 gigahertz TI OMAP processor. Uh, really good. It's not a NVIDIA Tiger 2. Uh, if you know, if it's up to me, I wouldn't buy a tablet right now uh, with the Tegra 2 processor in it. You'd want to mm -hmm. go with the Tegra 3 uh, if you go that way. Um, but if you're going for dual core, definitely uh, look for a TI processor. I'm a big fan of them right now. I like the extension support that they have. It's a little bit better than the dual core NVIDIA uh, processors. And one gig of RAM, which, you know, pretty solid piece of hardware. Uh, now, let's get to the things I don't like about it. This volume rocker right here, it's okay, but it's hard to find. So if all of a sudden your tablet's making a bunch of noise, it's hard to find this to start turning it down. And I don't know if you've noticed this, um, but a lot of the construction, like the printing and stuff, Motorola's printed this way. Uh, the camera's up here on the top. All the text and everything is printed to hold this thing in portrait mode. So you would think... Maybe yeah. portrait is like the default uh, thing that you're supposed to be doing. You know, totally. honeycomb supports it. Ice cream sandwich certainly does. But the volume setting here is set up for landscape. Or no, I've said that wrong. It is set up for portrait. Okay. But you press, you press up on the volume. As the volume goes up, you press down, it goes down. Um, but my, my big thing is on this tablet, when you rotate it you swap into it landscape mode, it does not swap. Huh. So if you press the right edge of the volume rocker, yeah. it turns the volume down like you're still holding it in portrait mode. Yeah. You know, and it's turning it down. The left edge turns it up. You want to see how you can fix that lane? Oh. Flip it over 180 degrees. Yeah, but it doesn't always work with all apps like now this. Watch this. Oh, that's see. the wake lock. Watch. Turn it up. See, it Yay. fixed it. Look at turn that. It down. Isn't that awesome? It's amazing. But that's the thing, though. Like, if, yeah. let's see. If I go to the home screen, I think you're getting spoiled with some of these tablets. We're getting some of the phones and tablets that I'll open up the market. 
Oh, this has the new market on it too. I guess I should talk about that. My tablet has the original Honeycomb market, and this has the updated version. I'm kind of salty about that. Uh, this is what I have on my phone. Yeah, you know how I said in the Android app show the new ways for, you know, swiping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apps and everything. Well, this is like the this is the same thing, but you know, on Honeycomb, and look, it's a little bit different. They Ooh. it only goes halfway. On your phone, it goes all the way in. Oh, oh yeah, because there's more real estate. So yeah, on here it's a little bit less noticeable, but on tablets, you know, such as mine that have the old market, uh, a couple of things don't work when you have it rotated this way. They only have it when you rotate in the landscape to the left. It's kind of a weird quirk. Quirky. So between the volume rocker not changing when you're in landscape and not having a my micro SD card slot, mm, mm, yeah, I think the micro weird. SD is probably bigger than. Uh, but they did do some cool things. They changed the buttons down here and the apps button up there. The apps button looks more like your standard Motorola apps app drawer button, and these buttons, I don't know, they're just they're just a little different. You know, a little really? boxier. Uh, I think they're a little cooler. Huh. So just not the default honeycomb, you know, thing. Right. Let's pop this open. I mean, but pretty much everything else is the same. Yeah. I mean, they didn't customize anything in the menu. It's all vanilla honeycomb. Cool. Uh, it's just a couple a couple things that are customized, uh, but no real UI enhancements mm-hmm. like what you would expect to see from a third-party manufacturer. So all in all, I got to say, if you're looking for an LTE tablet, uh, this right here is the current one that I recommend uh, for size, number one, for battery life, number two, and uh, aside from the size, the portability of it and being light and just being able to, uh, you know, size for me goes two ways for using it and for carrying it around. Mm-hmm. Two totally different things. But uh, this one, uh, the seven incher I can fit in my back pocket. This I can, I got, you know, if I kind of, you know, squeeze it in there, it'll fit. Um, but it definitely fits inside my coat uh, pocket. So can you one hand it too? I uh, like one hand it to type oh, on. Oh, there we it. go. Yeah. Like that, you can palm it. Yep, I can flip it around one handed. So that's good. It's it's handleable. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, just For a little on one handed on browsing side, experiences that you need. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for when you're busy. Yeah. I do love reading on these though. In portrait mode, mm-hmm. it's excellent iPad just cannot compete with that being able to to read. True. Uh, but the screen, that's what impressed me about this thing. The, oh, the just screen on beautiful. this bad boy. Absolutely beautiful. So nice. IPS same technology that the iPad uses. Yeah. For the screen. And yeah. the viewing angle incredible on this. Incredible. Yeah, just I took like, it all the way to the edge. I didn't see any color, you know, shift yeah. or anything like that Super or brightness solid. or anything. I mean, like right at the very end when you're reaching 180 degrees, like 179.9, you can start to see uh, it get dark or whatever. But what do you want? Well, that's probably because you're looking through so many layers more of glass. Yeah, that's probably that's probably it. <laughs> um, this, is a, this is so solid. I think if I were in the market... This is probably what I would want to get. Yeah, Motorola has really surprised me with the Droid Razor that we reviewed and with this tablet. They're getting thinner, mm-hmm. uh, but they do not feel cheap at all. No. You know, these Samsung tablets are getting really thin, um, but they give. They do feel kind of cheap. Oh, this feels like unreasonably solid. Yeah, and that's the same thing with that Motorola like, Razor, right? I expect a little bit of give here, like... But this but is they're, like, they're really doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, they are definitely doing it right. <laughs> now this, like, when I was playing with the, the what was the other one? The, what, the last tablet we had? or No, just like the other one Motorola makes. The Zoom. The Zoom. The Zoom, like, feels like a, a clunky beast yeah. compared to the, the iPad. Yeah. This feels on par with the iPad. Yeah, they've tapered around all the edges. I mean, it this it definitely feels better in the hand. Uh, but, I would say know, this feels better. If you better. want ice cream sandwich, though, that Zoom is uh, already receiving it. Like the little bit of texture on here just makes it even... I mean, I'm all for the sleek and coolness of the iPad, but this just feels usable. This is something that I would grab. I'd just yeah. grab and take with me. Yeah. The iPad, you still feel like you got to baby that thing. This thing's like... You can take this, throw it in your back pocket, or throw it in your coat pocket. Yeah. And just run. <laughs> wow. This is hot. 
I am pretty I'm pretty excited about that tablet. It's nice. And you know, you can't beat Verizon's network for it <laughs> at all. I don't know where it went, Lane. Sorry, not to file a claim. Sorry. I like it that much. Alien tablets bursting from your chest. <laughs> well, how much is this thing? Uh, four twenty nine ninety nine with a two year contract. Mm-hmm. So you have to sign up for a data plan, uh, but it's going to cost you four hundred thirty dollars uh, for a sixteen gigabyte model. So you, you know you compare that to the iPad, it's definitely winning uh, because it's this isn't just you know against the base model iPad, the five hundred dollar Wi Fi. Right. Uh, this comes with the LTE, LTE radio in it. Even. So four G, you can't 4G. even get that on an iPad right now. Mm-hmm. Sorry, folks. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I I kind of don't want to send this back. Don't. Send well, once you get used back. to having internet connectivity on a tablet anywhere, that's addictive. So, is there a plan on that one? Is there what? Have you been Have you been using four G on that? Not here. I used it in Ann Arbor. Okay. But yeah, not here in Jackson. There's no four G. I mean, have it, does it go down to three G too? Oh, definitely. Yep. Okay, so so yeah. that has unlimited or that has data on it right now. Yep, and you can just yep anywhere awesome. you go. You don't even have to think about if you're on Wi-Fi. It's just like your, your phone. You think, yeah. oh, do I want faster connection or just cell connection? Right. And with and that, if you're on LTE. And with that, you're just like faster whatever. connections LTE. <laughs> yeah, you're just like I got a connection. I got a connection. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I love it, Lane. It's hot. Well, I think that's all we had for the show today. It is. It is. Got some cool things to review, some cool devices, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's what we do here. This is tech, baby. (laughs) Well, if you want to check out some more reviews we've done, uh, go to the AndroidTechShow.com. Uh, right now, you're still going to get the old site, but we're we're making some changes to the yep. Android App Show website. And I'll tell you what, those changes are going to end up being pushed over to the Android Tech Show as yeah, soon they, as we get them done. Uh, but, you know, first things first. So visit the AndroidTechShow.com. Watch more. Yeah. Click on stuff. And we're also on Twitter. So if you get bored and you want to talk to us, we're here for you. We will listen to you. We will talk to you. We have nothing better to do, really. Yeah, ask really. us questions. Yeah, and that we is just it. at Android Tech Show. Just tweet us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what you, you crazy kids out there are doing with Android stuff nowadays. Like, it's crazy. Like that other Motorola thing we saw? The Motorola Watch. Oh, the Watch. That's kind of cool. I'm going to have to get one of those. I'm kind of keeping an eye on the battery life, though. I, I don't want to plug in a watch. Right. Well, you you're know. going to have to. Well... Once a day at the most. I'm talking about I want 24-hour battery life. Right. At, at least. True. So, uh, <laughs> anyway. if, let's go to yeah. our YouTube channel, too. We got a YouTube channel. YouTube. YouTube.com slash Android Tech Show. Uh, we have full episodes on there, and we're doing some short content, some other things, you know, sprinkled in. Sure. Go there and click on subscribe. You know you want to. Uh, and we're also going to give a shout-out to the Blueberry Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, people kind of like us uh, making shows kind of like this, except not. It's all uh, inde- independent stuff. Independent. It's beautiful. Blueberry.com with no ease. Mm-hmm. Cool. Thanks for watching. We will be back later with some more cool tech as soon as they send it to us. We got something coming. Yes. Uh, the next, I can tell you uh, for sure, next time we publish an episode, it's going to be the Galaxy Nexus review. Ooh, finally. Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. So look forward to that. That's cool. See you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your Nexus?